Welcome back guys to Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. We continue deeper in the pit of a hundred trials. Fearful of the spiky parabuzzies. Because I just refuse. I've so refused to put on spike shield at the moment it's ridiculous. So we've been using Earth Tremor on every one. A bubble though? A bubble I like. They're fine. So we defeat them with our hammers. As long as there's not a spiky parabuzzy, we're perfectly fine. We'll leave Mr. Paratrooper up there as well. We'll go for the others this turn. And of course, against Flames, good. Strangely enough, it's Mr. Bobbery. The extra damage. Super Guard makes it no problem at all for us to finish you off, sir. And let's hope to never see a spiky power buzzy again because we need to refill our HP. Brilliant, bingo. Time there. It'd be nice if that was on Goombella or something. But our crowd is full, full. I'm ready for the stylish of Bobbery to refill even more star power. Crazy amounts, in fact. We're already back up to three, nearly on our fourth. Surely we don't even need to collect any coins anymore. We're nearly at that 999 total. Let's head down. Floor 50 is where we're going to after all the graffiti. As long as we get the first strikes, we should be fine. Oh, lots of you guys this time. Right, how to take you guys on nicely. Oh, a four-kid bobbery. What on earth? Right. To do that much damage to you guys. No, I think I'll take you out, you know. Separately, one by one. And you know why? Because we're only left with one Pokey after this. And we can refill more star power this way. Just in case any more power buzzies, I'll take free damage. That's not a problem to me at all. As long as I get that star power going up, and we're already at six, so we're in a Good state at the moment, if you know what I mean. We've recovered nicely. We can use Sweet Treat once again, or Sweet Feast, or anything we want to. Level 49, so our request, our errand, Trouble Center Wise, is here. So where's the graffiti? On this wall over here, what does it say? There's graffiti on the wall here. Swab's wish, I want to get married to Bubba Link. My dear love in a shocker wedding. I want us to have 22 kids so we can start a soccer team. Shablooey! That's two soccer teams, really. This graffiti was scrolled on with a fierce hand. It might never come off. When it's a bomb that wrote it. Use a bomb to get rid of it. We didn't just get rid of the graffiti. We got rid of the entire wall. What's our reward? You got a strange sack. An item that lets you carry up to 20 items. Brilliant. So now we have even more space in our bags. We're at a halfway point. Let's keep going. Trouble center errand done. We'll have to go back out. To sort that, but we've got a new variant of Bandit here. Obviously, they can't stand up to... Oh, my goodness. They can stand up to 10 damage worth. I sounded really weird. And oh, my goodness. Or should I say, as everyone says in this game, Oh, my gosh. That's a badge Bandit. He's a Bandit. Oh, go up. No, no, taking my bandage by badges? That's just rude. That's a jerk. Max HP is 12, attack is 5, and defense is 0. He has high attack power and HP. He sometimes steals a badge when he tackles you, so use your guard carefully. And even if he gets one, keep you cool, okay? If he runs from the battle, you can always find him and re engage him. Maybe not, though. Well, let's use a Quake Hammer. There's only one FP after all to bring them down to a nice level of HP. A single hammer can take them out now. They do tons of damage. Got your coin? Oh no! One coin? That's fine by me. It's not so good to have Goombella in the front lines there. Let's hammer you, sir. Take you down. I have my coin back, thank you. In fact, our star power is completely filled up, so if Goombella reaches too hard or too far down, a sweet treat. Bring her back to safety from death's door. We really do not want someone going down, because if they do, 
we get another problem of the fact that they'll instantly use life shrooms. We don't want them to do that at all. There's lots of people to tunnel down here. Oh no, we have all the information. That's good. And they have no defenses. We'll take out Purple Boo first of all. Goombella, you've got this one. Hopefully you don't charge up other guy. For Super Guard of Perfection. And an attack power-up, in fact. Give us more experience, nothing else. But even though the enemies are getting harder and more able to damage us, we're still not getting HP from them. Or, you know, um, experience, EXP. It's just saddening. 22 battles we've done now since leveling up. And we want to level up some more. Mind you, a little health there is not too bad for Goombella. We'll take the FP as well. Any and all healing we can take is brilliant. And it seems that we've weathered the storm with the para buzzies. They're no longer around. We don't have to worry about them anymore, the spiky ones. And that's a red hot chump. Whatever he is, I don't like it. Okay, he has 6 HP. We've already fought one of these before. So I think you're going to go and take this one on, madame. We are going to power smash through its defenses for 1 FP. Perfection! And the triple Salco. And in fact, we got twice the FP back, so profit. We're so close to just maxing out our coins yet again. Another red chump is here, stuck to his platform, in fact. Oh, he nearly got me. Right, you can reach pretty far, can't you, sir? We struck first. We prepared everything. Get ready to be bashed into your friends. In fact, that was probably the best move we could have possibly did because Quake Hammer goes through defenses, after all. Now that's good play and good planning. Of course, we couldn't have known we would be facing a trio of them, and that would have worked out so perfectly. But brilliant! When you can do it, do it, I say. Chomps make the perfect target. Only 14 coins to go till maximum. We've got a cleft here. Quake Hammers are, of course, going to take these out no problem at all. You can have a Super Shroom all you like, sir. Trust me that in two turns you're going down, but that's the problem, actually. This Chomp has so much defense, and I want to do as much damage as possible to it to knock it out. How much damage did the normal hammer do? Hmm. Right, I would switch to Bobbery to hit him in the back row, but of course there's someone in front of him. Can Flurry do this for me? Uh, over there. She does five damage, in fact. It doesn't have much of a defensive value whatsoever. What am I worrying about? My dear Goombella could have took him out, no problem. Mind you, I wouldn't want to let, get ejected from the stage and fall into the, the crowd at the moment. It's all piranha plants. It would be horrific. So we'll fill up our HP yet again a little bit more. In fact, we're perfectly fine for HP. What am I going on about? 50 out of 50. Come fight me, sir. As long as I don't jump on your head first. Next level, what do we got? Multiple ones of you guys with your tons and tons of HP. Not good for me. We'll do 12 damage with one hit. I love Quake Hammer, it's so brilliant. And then we'll switch to... Oh, to be honest, Flurry could have done as much damage and could have done the total needed. But he's just got the style. One coin? I don't mind that. One hammer is my revenge. Another floor cleared. Hopefully we'll get some FP from this. 
long as they don't steal my badges. Oh, some HP is not bad. I even helped Bobbery out a little bit. Only six coins more needed. My god, this is one hell of a trip. I didn't think it would take this long, actually. I thought we'd have been through and through, no problem at all, but... Level after level of baddies. And it's only gonna get tougher and slower as we go along. I'm not having that dizzy doll used on me, that's for sure. Bobby, you have Ghost Boy. Give him a scare. So thankfully there's no spike flying, guys. We are perfectly fine. We may as well pick up the dizzy dolls now, if you know what I mean. We've got so much space in our bag that we're never going to run out, so we're going to just end up with more options. At least I'm getting consistent first strikes now as well. Except there is many, many ghosts. Many indeed. Well, we're just going to take them out one by one, really. Can't quake hammer them after all. Can't do anything like that. But we can take one out with each person's attack, so... We're perfectly peachy. Apart from that, that was not a good happening. I missed everyone but Mario, but I managed to block that anyway. You, sir, failed completely. Thanks to Bobbery, we have a way of attacking. Even if we miss this one, Mario's got the finisher. He's never in a hurry about it, isn't he? He just moseys up to someone. I'm in the back row, but I'm going to walk over to you very, very casually. And then the hammer comes, the evil face that he gets. Grrr. And of course, we are capped on coins, so no more reason to pick these up. Surely we'll be at floor 60 soon enough? Let's check your range, sir. Oh, oh I did die. I hammered you too early. And of course, it had to be the group. It would have been perfect if I didn't mess up. But there's another way to get them. Can I get them all? Will it happen? Will it work? Will I finally redeem myself? What finally happened to me to start making me miss them all? Super concentration! Thank you! We got there! We got it! I'm, ha I'm actually really happy and ecstatic about that, but look at their poles go massively in the air! Defeated! Get out of my face! We haven't used star power for ages, so we may as well use it so we can recharge it by using other moves. Thank goodness. And we've reached floor 60! For a double dip during battle, use two items in one turn. We don't need that. What have you got to sell, sir? Anything nice now? Still the general normal stuff, but the costs and price go up the further we get down. It's nasty, that. To floor 61. Hopefully there'll be some more movers so we can dodge some floors. Let's try to get to floor 70 with all speed. Ahead. He's got a thunder race. He's going to have to go down. Right, we've got multiple Lakitu here. We haven't fought them before. Tell me everything I need to know. Will we get rid of the one with the Thunder Rage? Hopefully we get it as night. That's a Dark Lakitu. It rises a rain cloud. Max HP is 13. Attack is 5. Defense is 0. It attacks by throwing pipes at you. If it's pipes, was I reading that right? If it's holding up a pipe when you jump on it, you'll get hurt. Nasty. And sometimes the pipe it throws turns into sky blue spinnies. Wow. If you only attack the spinies, you'll never win. So grab to the Dark Lakitu. What on earth are these guys? What on earth can they bring to the table? It sounds horrific. Will the multi-bounce take out the one in the front row? No problem, but I didn't get further than that. A spiny appears, not so good. And they're holding up more, which means we cannot do a single thing to them at the moment. He says, but something I should have done on the first round, I think. I've got six star points. Let's get rid of them. Six star power. Oh, I nearly messed up there, didn't I? My fun cut out on me for a moment. Da 
damage all around and defeat them no problem, but if we fight more Dark Nikita, we can't keep taking them out like that, surely. Just like with our Earth Tremor shenanigans. The Thunder Rage did drop, which will be very, very useful in certain battles. To be honest, we want to save as many items as we can for those last floors. And I said let's get down to floor 70 as fast as possible. We got stuck on that floor for quite a while. Hello, evil guy. What on earth's going on with you? Right, you've got 20. Oh, we fought you before, have we not? Right, let's quick hammer here. Take out the one in the front row, do 8 damage total, which is of course a normal hammer. Oh no, we need to do fire, don't we? Or an explosion to clear him out before we can attack. The one behind, we can't jump on him because of his spike. His spike will change directions. So Bobbery is going to have to take out the front row guy. We should have actually bombed him. We shouldn't have gone for a quake hammer at all. I messed up there. Ow! 7 damage to Bobbery, how dare you? Take a power smash in return. Triple flip! And is it my imagination or might we get some more star points from this? Oh, not the right timing for the confused there! Switch person! Get to it, Vivian! You're our usual boss guy. We haven't been using you against the small fry, that's for sure. We actually finally got more than one star point. Or did we get more than one last time? I didn't even notice. Be nice if we could get a throw gill command, but for Mario coins, ah, wizard type guy. So we're already reaching what could be considered end game enemies before we're even near the bottom floor, which means, of course, the things we soon could be facing could be quite crazy. Knock him into the ones behind it? Well, because it was not a ground-based foe, we didn't knock anyone anywhere. So we're not doing too well right now. And he's got an attack up. This is not so good. Evil guys. Fire will burn you down and we'll take you out next round. I did not like that whatsoever. I'm expecting the Ultra Hammer to knock them back, and now I've used quite a bit of FP there. I didn't realise, I just got kind of overzealous. Six star points? Finally! Starting to earn some stuff, and if we can start earning star points, we can start factoring in level ups for our heals. It's too bad there isn't like a nice, lovely, ooh, blue piranha, it's gonna jump right at me for sure. I got first strike though, so we're all good. And another one of you with a life shroom. So after we defeat him, he's gonna come back. Well, that is not a nice thing to know. Right, I'm gonna hammer this guy, even though I do more damage to the guy in the back, just so I can get fire. Put on him, we know he's gonna come alive again with 10 HP, so we're gonna have to take him down quite handily when he does. Are you already using the life shroom on yourself to just do a standard heal? Okay. Which meant that the fire was actually the best thing possible because it actually led us to have one damage on him. Not bad. Not really super planned, but still. And I was jumping away from that hammer so fast. Right, so if we use Bobbery here, he'll do eight damage, which means the fire itself will do the last damage. Of course, we can still take one more hit. In the meantime, Ow, six damage to the face. You're defeated as well, sir. For a single measly star point. I thought he was using the life shroom to heal his ally there. I don't like him joining in with these battles. Go away, sir. I don't want to... Oh, now we've got another one of them just standardly walking around. And he's got one of those Lakitus behind him, which actually is probably the more important one to take out. Problems, problems. Let's just take you out normally. Get a jumper companion. Oh, Vivian can do it. Vivian doesn't have a problem hitting up high up targets behind people. 
handy being a shadow lady, isn't it? With him gone, we don't have to worry about anything being thrown at us. Come on! Ah! Not that we really needed to restore our star power that much, to be honest. Can't jump on him due to that spike, so we can't do more damage. Which is why I love relying on my hammer. No matter what, it's all purpose beautiful. Now, I might want to use a sweet fee soon on purpose just to make sure I'm nicely topped up. Let's go for one more battle this episode. See how far we can get. More of you guys? Not what I wanted to see. In fact, there's two of you, not good. Well, with that in mind, uh, I think we're going to use a double attack here. Fiery Jinx, first of all. X, A, Y, Y, A. Because that'll set the one on the back row on fire, gets rid of the guy with the item, and means I can jump on you to finish you off. Make sure you don't throw any extra enemies into the mix. I did not get the reflect damage that I really wanted there. Burn, sir, burn! Right, apart from that, normal hammer. And a normal attack will finish it. I thought something was happening there. It was a bit frozen for a bit. X, nice punch. And you are defeated, sir. No problemo, though we do look like we need to use a sweet feast sometime soon. We're going to get some extra coins. Not that we need that at all. Hooray! Extra coins! Your curse has run out. No, not for that! We've made it down to level 66. No one near 70 yet. Oh no! So join me for more Pit of 100 Trials next time. This is one hell of a slog. It's one hell of an adventure. Join me for more. Bye-bye.